Okay, welcome to a lesson by the name the insurance contract. Before we commence our lesson, kindly remember to hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss any of my future videos. So, a brief introduction of an insurance contract. An insurance contract is a is one which a party called the insurer agree to indemnify a party referred to as insured in consideration of premium paid by the insured in case of any risk arising from specified event covered by the insurer. The instrument contained containing the condition of insurance are referred to as policy. The loss insured in the condition of insurance is the risk. The core objective of the insurance is to indemnify the insured against uncertain loss or damage through monetary compensation to eliminate the loss. Some of, some of the essential of an insurance contract, one of them is agreement. For an insurance contract to be legally binding, there must be an agreement where the insurer agrees to insure the insured. So, in order for an insurance contract to be legally binding, there must be a legal agreement between the insurer and insured uncertainty. The, co the contract is based on unplanned event that may occur in future. So, the, the insurance contract is based on uncertain event or risk that may occur on future. Con another essential element is control. The, insurab the insurable event must be beyond the party insuring the event. So, the, insur the, insur the insurance company must, must have the capability to cater or the damage which may be which may occur or the risk which will occur to the insured insurable interest these are pecuniary or financial interest at stake if the subject matter is not insured this one is an, another essential element of the insurance contract insurable interest another essential element of an insurance contract is risk the insurance contract is based on covering any arbitrary or contingent that may occur in future Another essential element of an insurance contract is accidental or negligence loss. Insurance contract can only be affected by loss arising from accident or negligent loss based on omission. Some of the core characteristics of an insurance contract, one of them is an indemnity contract. Therefore, an insurance contract, it is a contract where the insurer agrees to indemnify the insured in case of any loss or damage. Other characteristic, it is a contract of Uberima Fidei. Insurance contract is based on utmost, an utmost good faith between the parties. It is also a rotary in nature. The contract is based on speculative chances that may occur or may not occur. Another characteristic of an insurance contract, it is a conditional contract where the insured pay premium to the insurer to be indemnified. So it is a conditional contract in nature because in order for the insured to be to be to receive cover from the insurer, he must pay some premium and the insurer and now the insurer is now is now compared to pay the to pay the insured. It is also a personal contract. This is because it involves the insurer and insured as the core in the contract. Therefore, the two parties, it is based, it is a personal contract because the two parties can sue, can sue each other. For instance, the insurer can sue the insured if the insured fail to pay premium as per the policy of the, as per the proposal form of the policy cover. And if the the insurer the insured can sue the insurer if we refuse to pay some the amount which was agreed on the policy cover in case of any risk arising accidental it is not it is uh, the insurance contract is not based on covering intentional damage so you cannot cause a damage intentional and you blame the insurance contract the insurance company for not paying for the damage it is always based on accidental damage not intentional damage formation of an insurance contract a contract of insurance comes into formation when a party when a party loans an as when an offer by a proposer is accepted by the insurer who is the offeree 
So in a con in a contract of insurance, the offerer is the insured, where the offeree is the in insured. The proposer makes an offer by completing and submitting to the insurer the proposal form. Some of particulars of proposal form is the history of the attached risk, particulars of the proposer, proposer of the subject matter, and also a circumstance af affecting the risk. Note that the proposer signs the declaration in the bottom of the proposal form to ascertain that the answer given constitutes the basis of the contract between him and the insurer. So the proposer who is the offer offer offerer in the in the insurance contract signs the declaration in the bottom of the proposal form to ascertain that the answer given in the proposal form constitute the basis of the contract between him and the insurer. The declaration is referred to as the basis of the contract clause. Submission of the proposal form to the insurer constitutes the basis of the formal offer by in the insured. The insurer is not bound to accept the offer, but he, he may assess the risk exceeded by the temporal cover to the proposer. So the insurer is not always bound to accept the offer from the insured. Cover note. Cover note, it is a name given to the temporal cover extended exed to the proposal between the submission of proposal form and the formal acceptance or rejection of the issue of the by the insurer. So cover note is a cover which is extended to the proposal between the proposal the submission of the proposal form and the formal acceptance or rejection by the of, of the contract by the insurer. There are two grounds which are given for the cover note to be upheld in the insurance contract. One of them, it is argued that the insurance, the insurance should be formal and legal, and it takes it needs time to be assessed by the insurer. So when the insurer is assessing that the proposal form, it takes a duration of time before he assesses the duration and the risk which will be extended to him. Or it is also necessary to extend the immediate cover to the proposer or insured since the subject matter is already exposed to risk. So if the risk occurs during the grace period of the cover note, the proposer recover the damage in accordance to the cover note. The cover note generally lasts for a period of 30 days. However, the insurance the insurer is not bound by the contract to accept the pro, the proposer offer. He may accept or reject the offer in totality. So even if the insurer may reject the offer from the insured, the cover note is core in between that period when he is assessing the proposal form. So because the subject matter which the insured want to insure is already exposed to risk, there are various ways which the insurer may signify acceptance of the proposal form. One of them is by the formal acceptance. So the insurer may accept, accept may so acceptance of the proposal form or accepting the offer given to him by the insured by formal communication, by the conduct of the insurer, by issue of the policy, by acceptance and retention of premium paid to him by the insured. Commencement of the cover. As a general rule, cover not commence at the date and the time specified by the cover not or policy cover. However, if the cover note is not does not have specified time, the cover note commences the full next the next full day. The meaning of the next full day means a period of twenty four of twenty four consecutive hours from the midnight. So full day is twenty four consecutive hours from the midnight. We have various classification of insurance contract. One of them is Event insured. This is category of insurance that which derives its name from the event which is being insured. For instance, fire insurance, theft insurance, marine insurance. We also have in interest insured. The classification is placed in the contract in three classes, namely personal insurance, property ins insurance, liability insurance. We also have nature of insurance. It is a classification 
where the contract can be of indemnity or non indemnity so if it is an indemnity contract is where the party is is based on ensuring some spec some speculative risk when an indemnity is where the party does not ensure any any specific risk but ensure some interest which may occur in future private or social contract private insurance is option but in case of social insurance contract is a statutory requirement a good example of social insurance contract is a motor vehicle that party insurance and a good example of private insurance of is for instance the nhif in kenya nssf the insurance it is an insurance contract where the insurer insures himself with another insurance company to reduce the risk in, in case of indemnity so insurance company insure them themselves with other insurance company so that to reduce the risk if any a rotary or contingent or risk occur which may, may, may exceed the insurance contract cover some of the principles of an insurance contract it is insurable interest these are financial or pecuniary interest at stake if subject matter is not insured another principle of an insurance contract is the principle of, of utmost good faith the duty of disclosure by the party of all material facts within the proposal form is based on good faith. Another principle is the principle of indemnity. It means that the insurer start a duty to compensate the insured if the subject of the insured if the insured event occur. Another principle of insurance contracts is abandonment. The principle involves giving up of the residue of the subject matter for the insured to take the full indemnity of the event. We have another principle referred to as double insurance. It is a principle where the insurer insures himself from more than one insurance policy. Another principle of insurance contracts is the third party insurance. It involves a person insuring him, himself from a risk arising from a third party. We also have another principle of the insurance contract referred as salvage. It is the principle which involves recovery of all remains of the subject matter after full indemnity we also have some various type of kind of insurance contract one of them is life insurance it is a contract where the insured in the consideration of premium paid agree to cover the life of the insured another type of uh, kind of insurance contract is fire, is fire insurance it is a contract where the insured cover himself from the risk attached from the fire we also have another type of kind of insurance referred to as marine insurance in this contract the insured cover himself from the risk arising from peri losses another kind of insurance is the motor vehicle insurance in this contract the insured cover himself from the risk attached from third party which is a statutory requirement to all drivers to cover themselves from any harm caused by motor vehicle to a person thank you for watching Kindly remember to hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss for any of my future videos. Thank you.